Hey there, this is a demonstration on creating a cylinder with the 3D GeoGebra program. Um, you could use the cylinder button, but the method I'm going to demonstrate is one in which you take a rectangular cross section and rotate it. And this is how you do that. Um, first thing, we need a rectangle. So let's start by plotting some points. We'll do 2 comma 0. And if you just leave it 2 comma 0, it will say illegal argument. So make sure you include parentheses. And let's a at 2 0 on this red axis is the x axis. And then I'll also do 2 comma 2. If you just do one side of the parentheses, it will automatically close the parentheses for you. So maybe two comma two, third point, and negative two comma zero will be the From here, go to your polygon tool, connect A to B, B to C, and then to D, and again you must close off the polygon. So this is a rectangle, and what I want to do with this rectangle is rotate it around an axis and see what kind of surface it creates. Um, so if I'm going to rotate this shape, I need to know how much to rotate it by. And so that value is going to change though. So I create a slider to allow me to rotate it to various different angle measures. Um, the lowest angle measure I would want is zero. The highest, I'm going to put two pi, and you should starting to think about why is 2 pi going to be the largest angle measure here. And so now I have just a slider that goes from 0 to about 6.283185, which is 2 pi approximately. So I set the slider to 0. Then on the input bar, if you start typing S U R for <clears throat> surface, and you go to this second surface button. When you click that, this is a function in which you input three different things. One is a curve or a shape, the second thing is an angle measure, and the third is a line over which you want to rotate your curve or shape. The curve that I'm going to rotate is this rectangle. And the name of this rectangle, if you look up, is Q1, is polygon A, B, C, D. So for curve, I write Q1. <clears throat> for angle, it's going to change, it's going to vary, so I use the variable n because I created that slider for n that goes from 0 to 2 pi. And then line, the line that I want to rotate this shape over, well I could do either the x or the y axis, but I'll start out with doing the y axis. And so there's a certain way you need to type y axis in. Do a lowercase y, capital A, X, I, S. Press enter. And nothing happened. But that's because the angle over which I'm rotating it currently is zero. And if you rotate something zero degrees, nothing happens. So if I adjust 
this to one, it starts rotating down on the right side of your screen and the left side of the y-axis, the rectangle starts rotating upward. And so as I continue to rotate, looks like as I get to about 3.1, it starts to look all the way enclosed. But if I continue to go all the way to 6.28, which is 2 pi, you start to see what looks like it could be a cylinder. So let's move things around to get some other views of it. And what you can actually do is set it so that the y-axis is vertical. Uh, the way you do that is with this settings button. And it says axes, show axes, y-axis is vertical, is the one I'd click. And now I have my uh, cylinder sitting on its base. And you can rotate it. And so a couple things you might be interested in are what is the volume, what shapes is it made out of, and just think back to how it was created. It was just a rectangle that was rotated around the axis. And as you rotate it, it kind of filled in the outside here to create a cylinder. And that's the end of this video.